Hi, I'm Melissa from SoCo Survey, and I want to talk to you today about winning in the workplace. As you can probably tell from our title, it takes a balance of everyone, introverts, extroverts, and everyone in between. Let's take a look. No matter your business, the work that you do, we know that team effort makes a huge difference in terms of success. However, a lot of times we seem to balance or prioritize the skills of one type of group of people versus the skills and styles of all of our team members. Let's take a look at the Avengers, a good case study. If you haven't seen, this is probably some good research for you. The characters in the Avengers um, have a wide range of different backgrounds, personalities, powers, um, and this is also uh, worth noting for the characters and the actors as well. The actors um, have had a huge contribution, of course, too, and this means that the director had a great success with this, um, saying having so many great actors in the film, they all bring different process, different power. So different characters here, gifted on a technical level, uh, likes to try new things. But this is true of both, of course, the characters are interesting characters too, but the actors portraying these characters bring something fresh and new to the shooting itself, to the production and creation of the story. Of course, in real life, we're not all shooting blockbusters, but the balances um, that we see in that team can have a big, good contribution for how we maximize the potential of our team members as well. Um, very often in modern offices, we see the extroverts being the superheroes. A great book on this one here called Quiet by Susan Cain talks about how Western culture has a tendency to um, prioritize or emphasize the extrovert ideal ideal, excuse me, as if that's the only good type of um, colleague or team member to have. However, quietness, introversion, sometimes seen as um, a little bit strange or a flaw to be overcome. Absolutely not the case. Absolutely not the case, of course, too. A few examples from Cain says extroverts sometimes make fast decisions, and it's not always a good idea. And sometimes they like to take a quick and dirty approach, trading accuracy for speed. Introverts, however, could get overcautious, work more slowly, deliberately, um, but they are also really great at showing powers of concentration. So thinking and digesting ideas before taking action. Obviously, we can see that we need a balance of these two. We can't have just down and dirty, quick decisions without thought, and we can't have thought without action either. So we need a balance of those two. One of the things that we're thinking about um, is also the, the space that we inhabit. So modern office structures like open layouts, those are you know really great for extroverts, people who want to be able to connect with each other all the time. Um, but for introverts, this can be a little bit stressful, asking them to work against their nature. Um, and Kate Kane in her book says that between one-third and one-half of Americans are actually introverts. So that means there's probably a lot of introverts around you. And if you look around and you don't see any, <laughs> probably you've got a lot of great actors. And they're probably a bit worn out. So if you're thinking about making some improvements to balance um, in the introvert-friendly direction, of course, too, we know that we're looking for balance overall, but we have we tendency to have workplaces that are sort of more extrovert focused. So introvert balance here, a few practices that might be helpful. One is alternate ideas and ways of thinking are a great way to bring everyone into the conversation. So challenging employees to gather insights and ideas in a more contemplative, reflective way. It means that introverts are challenged sometimes to think of it in a new way that isn't, um, you know, comp you know, complementary to their normal thought processes and extroverts can pace themselves a little bit, walk, working on quieter aspects of themselves. So that kind of feedback session, that individual reflection, and then that group sharing um, can be a really good balance as well. Options, whenever you can do them, if they're electronic meetings, quiet spaces, um, getting some balance too, so you're not always having you know, sort of the standard big room where people are shouting out ideas. There are people who will never share ideas in that kind of situation too. So ensuring that you're able to collect that feedback in an efficient um, and supportive manner. And value. What does value mean? So knowing that value doesn't have to be the loudest person in the room, the person who raises their hand first. Um, when you're thinking about engagement and satisfaction, remember that it looks different for different types of employees. So strength and balance is really what we're looking for. We're looking for an environment in which every employee feels comfortable, feels confident, and can step up and be the hero. Of course, remember that this we're talking here about is if introverts and extroverts are totally different people, Many of us have traits of both introvert and extrovert within us, and the best teams bring out the best, of course, in all of us. If you want more, please do read this entire blog. This is a really great one, and um, I, I would love to hear your feedback. We'd love to hear what you have to say about the balance that you have in your workplace as well. Thanks so much for joining. I look forward to seeing you again soon. In the meantime, connect with us on social media at Sogo Survey or visit our website, sogosurvey.com. See you next time.